Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's November 5th, 2023. The daytime change. Um, real beautiful, beautiful evening though. It's like 70 degrees. Uh, went to church this morning. Went out and eat mom and dad and just kind of enjoying this evening and maybe take a little four-wheeler ride. So I'll let you go along with me. We're going to try to head over to Clinch River and I'll throw in some clips and hope you all enjoy some of this beautiful scenery. I thought we'd take out my dad's 300 today. As you can see, the cows are starting to eat down quite a bit of my hay fields. Uh, the leaves were real pretty for, I don't know, maybe about a week or so, and then they started losing color. Now they're just kind of getting brown. Creek getting kind of low. Man, I sure wish that there would be some fish in here that would stay in here. I uh, used to, I've heard stories of it being full of red eye and things like that. And just seems like we ain't had much luck fishing it. Uh, beavers, things like that. It's kind of put a hurting on them. kind of stop and talk just a little bit about this place right here uh, this place is a place that's really sacred to a lot of people around here my church as well as pretty much about all the churches in this radius here use this exact hole to baptize in uh, none of our churches really have any baptistries or anything like that so we all go to the water and as you can see there's places over here that we all stand and things like that that's something really unique to Appalachia uh, is creek baptizings um, so yeah, that's just something I wanted to show. That's where I was baptized at. So it's a really a special place to a lot of people here. New road.
you'll notice about Appalachia is this time of year, it's pretty warm during the day. Once the sun starts going down and you start hitting this shade, it's like 10, 15 degrees cooler just from shade. So once the sun starts going down, it starts getting cold. Now believe it or not, this is a county maintained road. It's kind of a shortcut between one valley to another. going up on this side than the other side. It's a lot smoother on this side too. Not as curvy. depression right through here and that depression goes all the way through there too and I'm going to assume that at one point in time Clinch River whether that be 100,000 years ago thousand years ago or whatever how long it took to erode this okay traveled through that pathway right there uh, but that's always amazed me as a kid coming over here and seeing that and like I said it would empty out right there and who knows maybe the river even forked somewhere else too uh, but you can obviously tell that's obvious depression through the ground right there. Uh, it looks like it's been cut by water.
it is, Lance River. Now, just as like what I was talking about, our baptizing hole at the creek, there's multiple churches that also baptize in Clinch River, Powell River, a um, bunch of different rivers. Like I said, baptistries are common in some churches around here, but some churches they're not. So I'm gonna try to get down here without uh, falling in. Right there is Grissom's Island, right here. In case you can see, the river goes that way and then the river goes that way and what happens is it goes around the island and around this way and then it meets back together on that side but everything's just so calm and peaceful this time of year love it so here's a little tour of grissom's island here um, I actually have a buddy, he pastors here, real good guy. I've always loved their sign, I think it's real neat. Now this was something that was real common to Appalachia too. Um, my church actually had two outhouses that I can remember as a kid whenever we took them up. Uh, but outhouses were really common. Uh, I can't remember if these are still outhouses or if they're... Um, or if they're actual toilets. I, I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty common to a lot of churches around here. You'll see a lot of churches that were maybe built in that style, and then they have an addition on the front that pulls them out maybe 10, 12 feet. And a lot of times that addition was a bathroom. So that's why most of your churches, they have the bathrooms up front, a lot of your older ones, because it was an add-on. My church is the opposite. They added on on the back. So if you don't want to disrupt service, you kind of just have to go all the way out and back in around. Um, it's just a unique, different things about our culture, heritage. I don't know. Some people may think that that stuff's interesting. I do. Maybe it's where I teach history. I don't know. But maybe I could pass it on to you all. you all enjoyed that little video of that little ride over to clinch river a lot of times the area that we live in we take it for granted a lot of times because we get used to it uh, but it's really cool to see different areas of where different people live different scenery so i hope that i kind of provided that chance to you all as always i hope everybody has a blessed week take care